I've got the spice order that I use, that we have to use with the um, yak. This is the spice in the recipes that they use with the yak. It's called garlic junkie. We ordered it. Look at that. Garlic junkie. And holy garlic is the other one. Hi, Moses. What? You love Mama. I love you, too. Come here. Sit down. I'll give you kisses. Yep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, my baby. Yes. You are, yes. You are so welcome. Oh, now you want a treat? Go tell Dad. You got to go tell Dad that. I'm busy right now. So he goes in there to tell Jerry. <laughs> there it is. Let me wash my hands because I touched him. I hugged him. So let me wash my hands. Because we are fin to pray over this food. We are fin to pray over this food and get it started. Now, y'all, listen to me. I'm really excited about this. This is a very easy recipe. I've got my oven preheated to 400. This is really groovy. I've seen this on TikTok. AK, I can't battle right now. I'm cooking, honey. Okay, so I've seen this on cook TikTok. And it's so easy. Oh my gosh. First we've got to we got to first we got to pray. And then we're going to cook our meat. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn my, my thing on medium. Let me turn you guys around here. Let me flip you around so you can see. There we go. Because we got to cook our meat. And then we're going we're gonna to put it in this, in this pan over here. Right over chill. But we got to cook our meat first, okay? Let me... There we go. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, okay. I know. You guys already know. We got this. We've got to get another phone holder. Actually, I got one on the way that I ordered from TikTok. Because <laughs> it's only a couple bucks. Okay. Lord, in Jesus' name, bless my hands as I prepare this food. I give you praise and glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless every mouth that eats it. Okay. Okay, so, this calls for ground beef, but y'all already know, I am a ground turkey kind of girl. Y'all already know. Okay, so, let me put you guys over here so you can see. Let me see if, let me make sure y'all are there. Okay, all right, now let me open this, and I'm going to put half ground beef in there also. So there's that. There's our ground turkey. Right there. Let me throw this away. And then... And then I've got half of ground beef. Right here. Pound of ground beef and a pound of ground turkey. There we go. My hands off. Okay. And then we're going to smash this up. Just like that. And mix this together. Mix the turkey and the ground beef together. Just like that. Okay. And the spices. We're going to put a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Okay, that's probably a little over a tablespoon, but we're all right. And a tablespoon of garlic powder. We'll make it the same amount. Okay, maybe a little bit more because we like garlic. Okay, and we've got one onion that I've diced up, and we're going to put that in there. Put that in with the meat, the garlic, and the Italian seasoning. Put that in the sink to wash. And then... And then 
We're going to put a little bit of black pepper. Doo -doo -doo. And then we're going to do a little bit of salt. Not too much now. It will pickle your gizzard. There we go. Okay. So we'll smash this all in. And I do like to add the onions when the meat isn't cooked yet for especially for recipes like this because even though I've diced the onion kind of smashes it up smaller you know so it's yeah I just think it's better so I have ground beef turkey onion Italian seasoning garlic granulated garlic or garlic powder whatever salt and pepper that's it that and this, when you throw it together, this will be really fun for kids and grandkids. Nieces and nephews, little brothers and sisters. If you want to give them the hang of cooking. Listen, and this is the thing. This is what y'all have to realize. Now let me wash my hands. Y'all have to realize you can either teach them kids to cook or you can cook for them. You know, there's a saying that says that if you want somebody to live and survive, you can, you can give them a fishing pole and teach them to fish instead of just giving them the fish. You feel me? Do you feel what the mama's saying? Okay, where's my spoon right here? Okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're going to do this other part. Okay, so y'all can see this and that, right, at the same time. Okay, y'all can see both. Let me make sure. Yeah, you can see my thing over there. And y'all can... Here, let me help you. Whoops. There we go. Now y'all can see better. How can see bed? Okay, so in the bottom, is this my, what is this now? Let me find my oil. I need a little bit up right here. Okay, so we're gonna put just a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of our baking dish. And we're gonna pretend like we're an artist and we're gonna paint the bottom of the of the bacon dish, just like downtown. Just do it, just like mommy used to make. There it is, right there. You just paint it. Just give it a nice little paint. Right, sure, okay. Now on top of that olive oil, we're going to put a little bit of spaghetti sauce. Sketty, I got what was on sale. So we're just going to pour some of that sketty sauce right in the bottom, just like that. And then I'm going to paint that around there also. Just like that. Just kind of swish it around the bottom. Or let the kids, just tell them to do it slowly so they don't make a mess. <laughs> Y'all already know. Okay, now you're going to take a bag actually a couple bags of ravioli this is this was frozen ravioli and you're gonna dump it in there and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna dump our ravioli right in the bottom of our pan just like that just dump it in there and spread it out just like that There we go. Okay. I got one more bag here. What the heck? Let's just throw it in for hoops and giggles, as they say. Okay. So, you just throw that ravioli in there and just spread it out on the bottom. Just like that. Okay, let me throw these bags away. So simple, right, so far? Let me stir our 
beat. Stir it around. There we go. It's cooking that meat. Okay, next. I threw it. I know we need it. We need it. Next, you get a bag of spinach. Or, in my case, Y'all know I love to make my ancestors and your ancestors scream. So guess what I got? I'll show you in a minute here. So, so I got power greens. I was like, what the heck? Let's just get power greens. That sounds more better. That'll give it a... And then we're just gonna... We're just gonna put this right on top of our... Just put it right on top. Right on top. Don't be scared. All you got to do, put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down. Do it, do it, do it. Now, don't forget, these greens, as they cook, they're going to wilt. And they are going to cook down. So, don't worry about putting too much because greens are good for our livers. That one don't look real good. We will remove it. Okay, so. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stack it in, boys. Just like that. Stack it in and spread it out. Just like that. There we go. Yes. Just like downtown, y'all. Just don't be scared. Just, just. Put it all in there. Just like that. Just kind of distribute it all over the top of your of your uh, ravioli. Just like that. Let me make sure there. Okay. So now, as soon as our meat's done, we're going to spoon our meat over the top of that. Which will be very fun because, you know, you have to make it wilt them, them greens a little bit. I mean, you could probably cook your greens if you want to, but that's not what the recipe said. Recipe said do it like this, so I'm doing it like this. Sometimes I listen, sometimes I don't. It's kind of like that saying goes, sometimes you feel like a nut. Whoop, whoop, sometimes you don't. Yeah, boys, you know how Mama D rolls. So, okay, so this is cooking up really, really nice. And then let me get my um, cheese out because we are going to put cheese on top. And I have not. Okay, so I've got two different types of cheese here that are open. Cheddar and mozzarella. And y'all already know. We are mixing these puppies together. Y'all already know. It'll just make it taste better. That's that's my theory. Let's let's just mix it. Let's let's mix both of them together. Okay, let me, I'm trying to mix it in. See? I can't get that. There we go. Okay. There we go. We're getting it mixed now, boys. It's looking beautiful. Okay. Throw a piece away. There we go. Okay. I think that's good for the meat. Because we got to remember it's going to bake in the oven too. So we don't have to like make it like super duper done. Because we don't want it to be dry, right? Okay, so now let me... We're just going to leave that set there, and we're just going to put this right on top. 
we're just going to distribute this over the top of our greens. Right like that. Let me scoot it over here. Just so you know. And we do want some of that juice. Yes, look at that, y'all. See, it's already starting to wilt the the greens a little bit there because of the heat. And these greens that we have are the type of greens that that um, wilt easy because they're power greens. Look at that, y'all. Yes. We didn't do pictures this time, but that's okay. I will download the, the video on TikTok. In the book of faces, it stays up. Look at that, y'all. Yes. Okay, let me. And I'm just scraping what's left in the pan over this. we go. Put that in the sink. Okay. I'm gonna pull this over here for you guys to see. Okay, y'all can see that. And we ain't done yet, though. Okay, there. Y'all can see that, okay. And we're just gonna tuck all that down in there. You know, just try to tuck it and make sure it's all tucked in really good. Okay, now, over the top of that, we're going to pour the other half of our spaghetti sauce. Just like that. Y'all already know. Waste not, what not. There we go. Did we get it all? No. We'll get a little bit of the juice from these tomatoes. How about that? How about that? Okay, let me open these tomatoes, which I should have done before. I apologize. I have a big can of tomatoes, but I'm not using the whole can. So, don't panic when you see this big can. See, I want that juice. And we are going to put just a little water in here. I put about two tablespoons. Shake that, because we want every drop. Y'all say it. Waste not, want not. So we're going to pour that over the top, just like that. We dropped tomatoes, so we're going to keep it. Okay, now I'm just going to sprinkle some of these tomatoes over the top. That's enough. So I used about a half of a can. And I'm just going to tuck it. Tuck it. Tuck it. Yeah. So easy, right? So easy. My oven, my oven, my oven is preheated to 400 now. We're going to do cheese. We're going to do cheese on top. And this is cheddar and mozzarella mixed. Y'all already seen. Just put it over there. Don't be scared. Yes, look at that, y'all. See, and then once you get the cheese on there, you can push it, push it real good. Just 
just like that. Just make sure I get around the edges. But yet, we ain't done yet. But wait, there's more! Okay, so we push that down there for a little bit over here. I see a bare spot right there on the corners. We don't want bare spots on the corners. Yes, look at that. Isn't that beautimous? Okay. And now, last but not least, pepperonis. Let me open this. We are going to put pepperonis on the top. Let me cut that one. I don't think I cut down far enough. There we go. Okay. This is turkey. This is turkey pepperonis. And then you just lay the pepperonis on the top. Just like that. Just lay it all over the place. Make it look yummy. And y'all know these are going to shrink up, right? So it, if it looks like I'm putting them on thick, I am. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. The kids will have a riot doing this. And they'll make a mess, but so what? You're making memories with them. So we don't care if they make a mess. We just want to make them memories. Because the memories is what's going to last. Even when they don't want them to. They will. So there, kids. Take that. Let me stick some over here. On the edge. Because these kind of help the the um, stuff stay in too. So let's put one on each corner. There. That's all there is to it. Okay. And now we're going to, nope, we're not going to cover it. We're not going to do anything else to it. We're just going to put this right in the oven. Isn't that beautiful? Let's take a picture of it before we put it in the oven. There it is. Let's turn the light on. Look at that. There it is. Well, heck. Let me get over the top. I got sweat going in my eyes. There it is. Do you guys want to close up too? Okay, wait a minute. I'll put it here. Whoops. Let me get this back in here. Sorry. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? There it is. Denter. And you know what? I put this charger in the wrong phone. Sure did. I put it in the 13 instead of the 8. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the oven. And we'll set our timer for, for about 25 minutes. <laughs> 